Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified in the future. Let's begin. This spread is for all air signs. Perhaps your story is in here, but there is also a separate spread just for your sign. Timestamps should be in the description box down below. We have the Five of Pentacles clarified by the world. We have the Sun. We have uh, the Star clarified by the Nine of Cups. And uh, we also have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo or an Aquarius or pretty much any zodiac sign. Um, Air signs, this will most likely apply to you if you're feeling kind of lonely, sad, feeling left out in the cold, if you're lost faith in people, faith in love, right? If that's, or perhaps you're experiencing some uh, financial difficulties. If everything or some of what I just mentioned is applicable to you right now, then uh, this is most likely for you, right? The Five of Pentacles, the first card I came out, this is... The card of uh, somebody leaving, uh, feeling left out in the cold, miserable, cold, uh, somebody who is uh, experiencing financial difficulties, right? Then the good news is that um, the rest of the spread is amazing, right? Uh, I think you're not going to be feeling this way starting this weekend, right? First of all, uh, the Five of Pentacles is clarified by the world. The world is my happy end card, right? And since it's clarifying the Five of Pentacles, that's what's coming to an end. That Five of Pentacles energy. The world could also be uh, a card of some place remote. Perhaps you're going to be traveling or you will have some kind of invitation to go travel somewhere. But yeah, the world is a, a one chapter of your life coming to an end and a new happy chapter of, of your life is about to begin. So here comes the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is somebody reaching out to you, approaching you. If you are going out uh, with friends or by yourself, it could be somebody who will approach you there. Uh, they may offer you to buy a cup of coffee or another type of beverage. <laughs> yeah, but the Page of Cups is, to me personally, the nicest page out of all four pages, right? I don't mean to insult the remaining three pages, but the, but the uh, Page of Cups is like um, somebody who's just being super nice to you, all right? And uh, here comes the sun, right? The sun could be a Leo card right there in the middle, but the sun is the happiest card in the deck. So right after that Five of Pentacles, that sad card, or feeling sad card, here comes the happiest card in the deck, right? This card always talks about joy, success, happiness, feeling on top of the world. Then we have the star clarified by the Nine of Cups. The star could be an Aquarius you're dealing with, but here's the deal about those two cards. There's two cards in a tarot deck that could be interpreted as a card of a wish come true, and those are the two cards right there, one clarifying the other. All right, both the star and the Nine of Cups could be cards of uh, wish granted or wish come true. The Nine of Cups is also a card of uh, personal satisfaction and fulfillment. So somebody's going to come into your life and things will change in a very drastic, positive, loving, uh, happy way. And uh, you will definitely feel like it's either a wish come true or you will feel like uh, you know, you're completely emotionally satisfied. Right? The Star is also a card of healing. So perhaps if you are still recovering from some kind of a breakup or a divorce with that Five of Pentacles, you know, this new person coming into your life will symbolize the end of that uh, healing process. All right? Cool. Gemini, uh, we have the Hangman, we have Justice, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Wands, and we also have the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You're going to be dealing with a Libra, or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or any Zodiac sign. I think, Gemini, this has to do with uh, money, work-related, finances-related, especially if uh, something's been stuck, something's been hanging in the air, something that's been saying um, pen <laughs> pending, right? Uh, for some of you, it could be a promotion, right? Or a raise at work, or perhaps somebody wants to or has to pay you for something for the work you've already done. It could be a bonus coming your way. For others of you, if you've already applied for a new job and you went through an interview or perhaps a couple of interviews, you will hear some good news. For others of you, say you got fired in the past. I'm not saying you're going to get fired once you see this reading. But if this is something that already happened to you and uh, you sued them for the wrong doing, they will 
reach out to you and cut you the check. For some of you, it could be a lawsuit that goes in your favor. But what I think is happening here, you're definitely winning. Something that's definitely going to go in your favor. And uh, I think you've got money coming your way as a result. Okay, so here's here's what we got. Uh, the hangman, the first card that came out, uh, it, it's a card of stagnation, nothing happening, right? So this situation must have, must have been sitting around for a while. The hangman is also a card of a sacrifice, so perhaps you've worked really hard throughout the year and uh, you've sacrificed yourself for this, right? So here comes Justice, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. So justice is karma or something that's going to go in your favors. For some of you, justice is the legal system, right? And uh, the Knight of Pentacles is uh, money coming your way. It could be a job, it could be a result uh, of a verdict or of some kind of a lawsuit or you're basically getting what you deserve with the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is always a very decent chunk of change. All right, so then we have the Eight of Pentacles clarified by the Six of so Wands. The Eight of Pentacles is either work, business, and finances related, or perhaps this is you perfecting something, working on something diligently, and uh, um, like I said, for some of you it is work related. The Six of Wands clarifying it is a card of victory and success. And I think that's you who is winning or being recognized or you're getting the promotion you deserve or you are winning the lawsuit, you're winning at something, right? And the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, if you were up for a promotion or if you were one of the uh, people who applied for the same job, this is that new employer um, or your existing employer deciding between you and another person and they're deciding in your favor. Or it could be a judge, right? You see how in the uh, justice card the person is holding up scales and the sword, right? In the Six of Pentacles the per there is one person standing up, standing in, middle, standing in the middle and they're also holding scales in the, one of the hands. So scales is either a judicial system or weighing pros and cons, deciding between two options or two people. So anyway, Gemini, I think this is a victory. You've got money coming in, coming your way, or a promotion, or a new job, or a bonus, or something like that. All right? Cool. Libra, we have the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Cups. We have the Page of Cups, clarified by the Five of Cups. We have uh, the Four of Cups and the World on the bottom of the deck. You're going to be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We've got lots and lots of water <laughs> on the table. Yeah, um, so it could be a Water Sign. Um, I think somebody is coming back from the past. It's either an ex or somebody who missed an opportunity with you. And uh, you are not welcoming this person back into your life. As a matter of fact, you're flat out rejecting them. Right, so got the uh, Knight of Cups, uh, clarifying the Nine of Cups. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but uh, we also have the Page of Cups here. Both the Knight and the, page, and the Page of Cups are talking about the same thing, um, right? Love. Somebody's coming in with love, but rather actually somebody's coming back to you. Because the Page of Cups is clarified by the Five of Cups right there in the middle. And the Five of Cups has always to do with the past. This is a card of regret. This is a card of grief, right? So perhaps they regret uh, missing an opportunity with you, or if this is your ex, then they regret breaking up with you. They miss you, right? Um, and uh, yeah, do expect some kind of a major love gesture, because the Knight of Cups is uh, the most romantic knight out of all four knights. Right, um, so and uh, this knight is often referred to as the knight in the shining armor. The knight of cups, the knight of cups is clarifying. It could be a wish come true for this person, for the two of you to get back together, but unfortunately, you don't feel like granting wishes <laughs> over this weekend. We got the four of cups right next to the deck. That's you rejecting this person, right? Uh, this is a card of rejection. The world on the bottom of the deck is a card of an ending, but uh, the world is my happy end card. So perhaps you already made peace with it, you already, you know, let it go, and when this person comes back, you're going to be like, you know what, no, it's just too late. This ship has sailed and uh, the train has left the station. All right, cool. Aquarius, <laughs> we have the Page of Swords, clarified by the High Priestess. We have the Seven of Cups, the Knight 
Of Cups, clarified by the Fool, and we also have uh, the Tower on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or an Aries, or any Zodiac sign. Well, uh, Aquarius, you've got a big surprise coming your way. It's even going to be shocking, okay? You've got a secret admirer. In case you didn't know, now you know. And perhaps what's going to be shocking as to who, to who this is. Alright, so we got the tower on the bottom of the deck. In this case, this is a card of something that happens unexpectedly, something that's going to shock you, something that's going to rock your world. Right? Uh, the first card I came out is the Page of Swords, it's classified by the High Priestess. Most definitely a secret admirer. The Page of Swords often comes through as a card of somebody who is spying on someone, and the High Priestess is uh, a secret card. So they're secretly keeping tabs on you, the Seven of Cups in the middle. I, it kind of looks like this is them basically watching you on their computer screen. <laughs> in terms of perhaps they are already friends with you on social media and they click that refresh button every five seconds just to see if you've posted anything. Yeah, they're one of your followers, right? Or perhaps this is somebody who's in the same gym with you or somebody who works with you or something like that. So here they come with the Knight of Cups clarified by the Fool. The Knight of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. The Fool could be an Aries, but um, those two cards could simply play out as a love confession. And with the Fool card, this person is just saying, you know what, I, I can't take it anymore. I can't hold back anymore. I gotta let um, Aquarius know how I feel. They're basically taking a leap of faith with, this, with the Fool card, right? And the, the Knight of Cups is a love confession. Plain and simple, this is a love confession, Aquarius coming your way. So yeah, prepare yourself, it's going to be shocking for some of you, but uh, I think this person genuinely loves you. What you're going to do about this is going to be 100% up to you. Alright? Cool. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.